What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Halu Airfree Open Air True Wireless Earbuds. Huge shout out to Halu for reaching out to the channel and providing these uh, for an honest unboxing and review. Let's go ahead and talk price and specs. First price, you can get these for $22.99. Very low, nice budget, uh, friendly uh, product here. It's also a link I'll leave in the description that will... Uh, well, actually a discount link rather i'll leave in the description where you can get an extra six bucks off of these so that i bring them down to like 16.99 all right they come in two colors black and white uh, as far as specs go you've got a uh, bluetooth version 5.4 a uh, codex support for aac and spc and as far as battery life goes you can get up to 28 hours of battery life with the earbuds in case I did not get any specifics as far as how much uh, battery life uh, that you, how much you would get as far as on a single charge. So I'm thinking uh, roughly around, uh, I'd say about six, seven hours maybe, um, depending on uh, your usage. But again, of course, uh, again, again, you know, with volume levels and everything like that. Uh, that's where I'm thinking about probably about six, five, or not even six, seven. I'll say about five or six, depending on your usage. All right. As there is no water resistance rating that I could find, but as always, if I could, if I get that information, I will pin it in the uh, comment section below. As far as features go, you've got the optimal wearing comfort. You got power display on the case, so it tell you exactly how much battery you have left in the earbuds as well as the case. You got directional conduction technology and the mic with the speakers. It's basically pointing uh, the ear, the speakers directly into the ear canal, so you'll get a better sound. You know, we'll test that out. You got AI powered noise canceling for clear calls, and you also have app support for Android and iOS. So, a nice budget friendly earbuds. Holidays are coming. This is pretty, uh, pretty much should be a would be a pretty good. Uh, uh, present stocking stuffer, if you will. All right, let's go ahead and jump into these. Let me grab my knife here. All right, let's go ahead and get that out the way. Let's get into this. See what we got. All right, I do like the box. I like. I don't know why. I just love that shiny, the comfort, comfortable earbuds. I like how they sh make that shiny. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Of course, we got the white ones here. So you got that nice. I like that. That silver. That sign. That 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 glossy and matte combination. We'll come back to this in a second. Let's go ahead and see what we got in here. I could get. We can talk about that for all day. Let's see what we got. Underneath here, we've got our USB A to USB C charging cable, and we've got our documentation. And everything this is in chinese you see we got an english version in here somewhere no this doesn't open up no all right but we do have our user guide okay so we do have our information here let's go ahead and put that out of the way for the moment and let's focus on this all right let's go ahead and get that off all right i do like it it's kind of a, a big case little chunky but i love the fact that you got the gloss up here of course it's a fingerprint magnet i'm already uh doing damage on that as well already let me cut this wiped off <laughs> all right here we go now we got nice and shiny here you got the the matte bottom half of it or yeah about three quarters of it you got your USB-C charging port here at the bottom you got Halo branding on the top here. Let's open that up. You got the earbuds. And I'm surprised I don't see a pairing button. So, hmm. Let's look inside again. No pairing button. Let's go ahead and take these out. Ah, uh, these these remind me of a another pair. Let me go ahead and peel this off. Okay. These are these look very similar to another pair that I have here. As far as the open ear. Yes, they look very similar to something. Let me see if I 
we we gonna peel this one off too. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay, that's that's nice. I I understand the uh, as you can see there. I don't know if you can see that, but the charge you got a charging LED right here. You got a hundred percent telling you what the case is. Let me see if we can get that out again. All right, you got the case, and then it shows you your battery levels. Oh, here, let me get that in the camera. I'm way up here. I don't know why. But you got that there. I'm trying to get it where it can, where it will show. Let me see. Open that up. Oh, you got to take them out. All right, there we go. Tells you your battery level for the earbuds as well as the case. Very nice. Well, like I was saying, they remind me of another pair that I have. I think, is it the Huawei Free Clips? Yup. <laughs> they give me that exact vibe of the Huawei free clips. Very nice. All right. I love those. Those are really great. Let me see. Uh, uh, I thought they was the, I thought the QCY cross key thirties was the C thirties were the same, but no, but yeah, they definitely give me that vibe of the, uh, free clips by Huawei, but let's go ahead and pop one of these on real quick. We'll take a picture. Okay. All right, this is how it looks in the air or on the air. Wraps around, you got a nice, really close to your ear canal, so they getting that audio going straight in. I like that. These are very comfortable too. Very similar, again, to the, uh, to the Huawei's, but very, just as comfortable, you know, I think. As you notice, you've got a nice little like rubberized loop here that goes around your ear. And this is nice soft here on the inside as well. Very nice. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and get these guys paired up and we'll take a look through their app. Thanks, wrapped in. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys paired up. We got my Z Fold 6 in here. We're gonna go ahead and put these guys on. I guess we can go ahead and put them in pairing mode that way. Now I'm doing this without instructions, so bear with me. Let's see if the, let's see if we can get them in. All right, I got a chime in my ear, so I, I'm guessing these guys are in pairing mode right now. So let's go into details real quick and see what we got. All right, let's see. There they go. Yep, they're in pairing mode. We got the wall, the the Halo. I'm about to call them Huawei. <laughs> the Halo Air Freeze. Let's go ahead and get these paired up. Pairing. Got the chime in my ear. We got the volume slider. So these guys are all paired up. Let's go back up the long list. There they are. So pairing is just as real simple and easy. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the Halo app. If I can locate it, got so many of these. All right, let me see. Let me back up. I got so many apps. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's looking at me right in my face. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these pair get these paired up. Uh, let me sign in. All right, I had to go in and sign in and everything, but there right now there is a update. So we're gonna go ahead and run the update for these earbuds and then we'll take a walk through the app. All right, we're back in. We ran the update. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app. First off, as you can see, we got a picture of the earbuds in the case. We got the battery level of both the left and right earbud, and we also have the option to change the name of the earbuds if we like. All right, now at the top, you've got the four bars here. You can go in, or four squares rather. You can go in, and if you can, if you have other devices, Halo devices added to this, you can go ahead and switch between those. All right, now if you've got the top, you got your status, is which we see here. We got sound, and inside here, you got some preset uh <laughs> preset sound uh settings you got default pop bass rock soft and classical 
I don't think they give you an option for customizing them. Uh, let me see. We're going to go ahead and close this. We're going to see if it does. Let's go ahead here in here. No, it doesn't. All right. Just wanted to make sure because some apps are not uh, set for tablet screens like this one. But it looks like I'm good. You know, it's good either way here. All right. So then moving on to the settings. When you go in, you got a picture of both your left and right ear. But this is where you can do your touch controls. You got double tap, triple tap, and long press. You do not have the single tap option uh, to choose from. All right. So, and of course, you on your left ear button. And if you want to switch over, you got your right ear button down here at the bottom. And you keep going down here. You got your find your headset. You've got your uh, firmware update and more settings. Let's go in there. You can go ahead and do factory reset of the headphones. And of course, you can do your device information, which basically just gives you up. Uh, I think I went too far here. Let me close this out. Open it up here. All right, gives you uh, the name of the earbuds, MAC address, firmware version, and everything. Again, not quite uh, optimized for the tablet screen, um, but I think I found the only flaw in that. But this one gives me everything I want on it. All right, so going down to the bottom. Right now we're in device. You can go into discover, which would take you where you could take a look at any of their other products if you're interested in them. All right. And then of course you got, <clears throat> excuse me, you can go mine. This is just your account and everything like that. With all your information, your settings, you can go and log out, help feedback, check for updates and about us. So this is a, Basically a very streamlined app uh, for these earbuds, but definitely gives you uh, functionality uh, that you're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and finish our testing. All right, we're back in. What we're gonna do now is uh, perform or test the multi-point connectivity of these. So we already have them here on the Z Fold 6. As you can see here, go through the list there. As you can see, they're already on the Z Fold 6. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put these guys in the case. Turn off Bluetooth from the Z Fold 6. All right, Bluetooth has been turned off. We're going to close this and open them back up. Take these guys out. They should be back in pairing mode. Let me put them in, see if I get a chime here. Put them on, rather. All right, I got the audible time showing that they're in pairing mode. So let's go ahead and jump into the Bluetooth settings here on my tablet, the Tab S8 Ultra. There they are. So let's go ahead and pair them up. Yes. Got the chime. We got the volume rocker. And we are paired here on the tablet let's go back to the it was the fold six i wanted to call it the s23 uh and we're gonna go ahead and turn this the bluetooth back on and it's automatically connecting all right it's saying let me go into detail here it's saying it's connected and there it is so it's connected here on the Z Fold 6, as well as a Tab SA Ultra. So let's go ahead and test the true multi-point. We're going to see if we can have audio playing from both of these and, you know, how we get down with the testing. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go in. We're going to grab videos from both of these. All right. We're going to grab, let's grab this one here. We're gonna pause that, blow that out. Let's go ahead and grab and grab this one here. All right. All right, so now we got all we should have video from an audio from both of these. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna start here with the tablet. All right, I got audio coming out of there. Let me pause that 
And now we're going to go ahead with the tab S8 or the tab, excuse me, the Z Fold 6. <laughs> All right. So now we got audio out of that. Now we're going to see if we have audio switching, meaning while the Z Fold 6 is playing, I can go ahead and hit the play on the tab S8 Ultra and will automatically switch over. Let's see if that happens. Yes, it does. It may take a couple seconds, but it does switch over from device one to device two. Let's go back the other way. All right. And it works. Now, this option is, man, these are less than 25 bucks, and you have this audio switching option that is, some of the higher price earbuds do not even have. Let's go ahead one more time. Let's see exactly how long it takes. One, two, three, about three, maybe three and a half seconds, but you do get that switch over. So multi-point and audio switching on a pair of open ear earbuds that's less than 25 bucks, fantastic. Let's continue. All right, next thing we're going to test here, let me zoom in a little bit closer here. Now that we don't have the tablet here, <laughs> seems like I'm way far away. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to test the mono mode uh, settings on it. We're going to see if you can listen to one earbud while the other one is in the case charging. So for let's go ahead and start our audio here. All right, we got audio coming out, sounding very nice. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start with the left earbud. Drop that in. Close the case. Right earbud is still playing. All right, so let's go ahead and put that back in. All right, got audio out of both. And then let's go ahead and do the right. Close the case. Audio is still playing on the left earbud. So you can use these in mono mode, basically doubling your battery life for both earbuds. Let's continue. All right, what we want to test now is the touch controls. I uh, went ahead and set them up in the app, so we're going to go ahead and make sure these work. We got our audio ready to play, so let's go ahead and get that started. All right, we got audio playing out of them now. My uh, Both my left and right earbud, I have a set for play pause, just in case I'm using one uh, individually. So let's go ahead and tap the right one twice, rather. All right. And when you do, you're tapping here on the back portion of the earbud. This is your touch surface right in that area there. So I double tap the right. As you can see, it paused it. Let's go ahead and uh, double tap the left. All right, my audio is playing again. Now, my triple, ta my, uh, triple tap option for the right earbud will skip me to the next one. One, two, three. Okay, see how it's moved me to the next to the next song. Now, triple tap on the left will take me back to the beginning of this song. And then if I do it again, it will take me back to the previous song. One, two, three. See, it took me back. One, two, three. Now, back to the previous song. All right, so now the long press option, I have it for my right earbud to increase volume. My left earbud to decrease volume. So we're going to do it with the left earbud first. Let me see if it does it here. All right. Let's go. It was moving down. You got to press and release, though. You can't hold on to it. It takes a couple seconds, but it does actuate. Now, let's go increase it to the on the right ear, bud. See, it's moving up. Okay. See it doing again. Again, you every time it pops up, you got to release and then press again. So they work. Let me go ahead and pause this. Now, if you're using, uh, if you're answering the ending calls, a double press will answer the call and end the call. And if you just want to send the person to voicemail, just press and hold for two seconds on either earbud and the call will be routed right to your voicemail. And uh, everything works perfectly there. Again, with the volume, you have to hold, press and hold for a little bit a couple seconds and again you got to release and do it again in order to continue to either lower your volume or increase your volume other than that touch controls work great let's continue
This is a mic test with the Halo Air Free Open Ear Earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Halo Air Free Open Ear Earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Halo Air Free Open Ear Earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Halo Air Free Open Ear Earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we are outside. We doing the ambient sound test for the Halo air free earbuds as you see i have them on all right so we got some nights outside ambient sound we're just going to see how high the uh, audio has to be in order to be able to listen to my content uh, as well as be able to um, hear everything going on around me i got some audio playing i'm just listening to some spoken word some news so we're gonna go ahead and hit play and we are at 55% right now. And we're about 50% rather. And it sounds, it's all right, it sounds kind of low, but okay. Uh, I can still hear again my uh, ambient sounds around me. I can hear perfectly well. We got traffic and everything. We'll go ahead and turn this up to 55%. I'm sorry, 65%. We're there now, and again, very clear. It got a little louder. I think this is my sweet spot here, and they seem to be doing a really good job here as well. Uh, that was some audio. I was just listening to some news. Let's go ahead and flip onto some music. Make sure I don't get hit first. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, got some music on. And again, I think the 65% is my sweet spot because it sounds very clear and I can still hear my surroundings and everything with the traffic. So we're doing a really good job. So right around 65% is good for me. And the Halo Air Free earbuds are doing a great job of giving me enough sound and still where I can still be able to uh, see my surroundings. So very nice job done, nicely done. This has been the ambient sound test for the Halo Air Free earbuds. Nicely done. All right, we're back in. What we're gonna do now is, oops, we're gonna get into the sound test. Let's go into their sound settings here. We're just gonna go ahead with the basic sound, uh, our default. I know this, not going to show it. Let me see. Let me close this. I mean, this this app is crazy. All right. So now we're going to just do our default setting here. All right. Let me show you. All right. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to use that. We're going to run a couple songs, see how these sound with that setting on. Let's get to it. All right. So we got our songs queued up here. We're going to go ahead and go off you know we're not going to go with the usual ones let's go ahead we're going to start here well no we don't want to start yeah let's go ahead and start with yeah let's do baby face let's go ahead and start that off all right we got good volume now again i'm not going to have these too loud for copyright i don't want them copyright strikes but i am getting really good sound now, again we are using the default setting got a nice clear a uh, sound out of it. Good clean with the uh, keyboard and the drums. Very nice. Very clean. I like the vocals on this. Very nice. Again, nice, good balance. These guys sound really good. Really clean. I like the way these sound so far. I'm, I'm again. I'm because again. I love the vocals on these. The clarity is very very good. Again, you got a nice detail with the uh, with the mids and high. Well, not the mids, but with the uh, high end keys, and of course the drums. 
nice little 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 like little uh, nice little thump if I can talk. It's getting late. Uh well they sound really, really good. Let me fix my camera. My camera's a little off. There we go. All right, again, very clean. All right, let's go ahead and grab another song. Let's see. We just yeah, we're gonna go away from what we normally do. I know bass with uh these open ear earbuds is uh is doesn't work doesn't go over well. Well let's go ahead and try E forty. Yeah, again, bass, there is no thump to it. I mean, you can hear the punch, but you don't get that feel. Again, because of them being an open-ear earbud, you don't have that seal. This is the reason why. Again, nice, clear vocals. Uh, T-Pain sounds nice and, nice and high on the pitch. Very clean. I get. I like. I again. The only thing is, is that the bass is not <laughs> is is almost non-existent on here. All right, we're gonna stop right there. We ain't gonna go any further because the point has been made. Nice mids and highs, but the bass is absolutely missing. All right, let's go ahead and jump into. Uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and do. A, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do instrumental. Again, we're just using the default settings. We preset. I'm not doing anything else. This is just like if you pull them out, put them on, and go. This is the uh, this is the sound you're getting. Again, nice wide sound stage. Nice, clear, crisp, uh, high keys. Again, I, I don't have it as loud as I because of prop copyright. Uh, infringement now if I was just rocking out on my own they'd probably be a little louder but again nice clarity I absolutely like it I'm liking the way these sound man 20 less than 25 bucks for these very impressive very clean all right again very nice sounding Love the sound stage on these. Uh, again, I'm just tripping off. I'm just tripping what you get out of these for less than 25 bucks. It's it's really really good. All right, let's go ahead and get this wrapped up. We're gonna talk about my likes and dislikes. Let's get there. All right, let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes of the Halo Air Free earbuds. Um, first of all, let's start with my dislikes. Uh, no wireless charging. Let me put these down center here. <laughs> no wireless charging. No uh, fast charging. Okay. I understand these are a budget. These are going as budget head earbuds. Uh, but still, those two things uh, pop out to me automatically. Um, the app, of course, not, not really... Uh, set for use with a tablet like uh, now you know our folding phones and everything um you know you know it's not used for you can get into it but you do have some limitations with the app when you have folding phone uh so if you had like your regular candy bar phone you're golden but for us out here who are on the fo on the uh using folding phones and everything you may run into problems as did uh, as did i uh, with the with the app, so we're gonna put that in my dislike column as well. Um, let me see. So far, I think that's pretty much all that I dislike about these. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I like about them. First off, I like the comfort; very comfortable. Uh, again, they take some cues from the uh, Huawei Free Clips, which is uh, if you're going to not a bad one to um, you know take some cues from. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I like the sound. Nice natural volume. You do really don't have to turn these up too much. Um, I like the clarity that I'm getting uh, when it comes to the mids and highs. Of course, the low end is almost non-existent with these earbuds, with this form factor altogether. The open ear form factor 
you really don't get that thump because it's a not obviously we all know it's not a seal you know you don't have an ear tip that's sealing it sealing your ear canal so you can get that good base um uh let's see i like the touch controls very intuitive i wish that they had the single press option there uh i kind of understand why because they don't want no accidental touches but still i would like to have that single press option or single tap option to be able to really uh configure them to the way i like them um that you put that i guess in my dislikes the fact that they don't have a single press option there um let's see uh i think that's i think that, does that cover everything um let me say got my likes let me see i just want to make sure i didn't i didn't uh forget anything oh yes i did i forgot oh my goodness multi-point connectivity and audio switching fantastic on the air buzz less than 25 bucks this is that's fantastic to be completely honest uh another thing i didn't put in the dislikes is the lack of a water resistance rating all right i I, that's another thing that goes into my dislike column. Uh, it just popped into my head that I should have did. I didn't, but I didn't mention that. All right. Now back into my likes. I think that covers everything. My likes, my dislikes. Uh, I'm still blown away that these guys do offer audio switching for the price. I think that's a fantastic, uh, feature that they added in there. Despite the fact that other things are not on there. I really, really enjoy that. All right. So let's go ahead and wrap this up so this has been an unboxing and review of the halo comfort or excuse me air free i'm the great call them comfortable earrings <laughs> air free open air earbuds again huge shout out to halo for reaching out to the channel provide these earbuds uh for what they um uh, a for honest review rather uh man it's getting late uh i really enjoy that i they're really great if definitely if you're looking for a stocking stuffer for you know loved ones in your family the holiday christmases next month already these are definitely something to look at got great features uh already you know included onto them hopefully some other features will be added in a firmware updates but and these are just a great pair of earbuds uh to think about um you know if you're interested in the open ear form factor and you want to start off somewhere this would be a great starting point all right and again i'd like to thank you guys for coming out and joining me on this if you do like what you see go and hit the like button if you want to join me as i continue to do videos like this and others go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you notify when videos like this and others drop and i'll see you on the next one peace